Hello everybody, welcome to splatter paint. The materials you'll need to do today's splatter paint is a canvas or a piece of paper, a stencil with your first initial of your name, scissors to cut out your stencil, either two paint brushes or an old toothbrush to do your splatter effect, tape to tape your stencil, some paper plates or some tin foil to pour your paint on and mix it, a little bit of water that we're going to add to our paint to make it more splatter effect, the paint colors of your choice, and then just a paper towel to dry your paintbrush on between colors. We're going to start off by cutting out our stencil so that we can stick it onto our canvas. I've cut out my L for Laura and now I'm going to stick some tape on the back of it to stick it into the center of my canvas. So I'm now sticking my letter L down in the center of my canvas and I'm going to press it along the edges at the top just so the paint can't drip, drip past it and it will look like this. Next you're going to pour your paint colors onto your paper plate. So I'm going to start out with my pink. You might need to shake your colors if you haven't used them lately. And you just need a little bit of paint because we're going to add some water to them to make them a little runnier so they have a nice splatter effect. You'll see I have all my colors on my paint. Then I'm just going to dip my paintbrush into my water here at the side and add a couple drops to each color and mix it in to make it a little bit runnier so that when you add the splatter to your brushes and in your canvas, it goes and spreads more nicely. Once your colors are all mixed with water, you're going to dip your paintbrush into whatever color you want to start with and you just need a light bit of paint on it. And there's a couple different techniques you can try. So we're going to start by dipping our paint for the first one and just running our finger across the end of the brush to splatter it onto your canvas, making sure you can go onto your stencil letter because you want that paint to go around it so that when you peel the stencil off, the letter really does stand out. You'll see here for my first color, it's just got a light splatter around it started. I'm going to continue to add more, but I'm going to show you our other technique. With the toothbrush, you dip your toothbrush in, get a little bit of paint on those tips of your brush. You're just going to dab off any extra and tilting your toothbrush sideways, you're just going to spread and splatter your paint across. One thing that I don't have laid down, because this is a paint table, so it's old and already been used, is some newspaper or garbage bag. But make sure before you start your craft, you lay down something just so you don't get splatter all over your kitchen table or wherever you're doing your paint work. You're going to then continue to do that with all your colors and splatter them all around your canvas, making sure you get all your corners, get the colors combined that you like, and that it's going across your whole thing. You'll see on my canvas, I keep adding splatter and more paint colors until I get the desired look that I want. As you do your splatter, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're hitting and going around your whole canvas so that the edges are all covered and that you have all the colors where you want. There's no right or wrong way to flick. You just wanna make sure you're flicking towards your canvas and maybe wearing old clothing just in case you get a little paint on yourself. I've also been using my paper towel just to wipe my finger between colors so that my colors don't combine and don't mix to something that I don't want on my canvas. I've got the splatter exactly how I want it. So before I go on to anything else, I'm going to go and wash my hands to make sure I don't get anything else in my house messy or I don't get it on my clothing. So my paint canvas is now dry and I'm going to peel off my stencil. So there's your finished piece of work. If you want your stencil to stand out a little more, you can do a darker paint around it or you can paint your whole canvas black before you do your splatter and then use some brighter colors so it really pops. Thanks for coming. Bye guys.